Our video today is brought to you by our friends over at Dyna Performance. You guys know for the past three to four years now, we've been working with Dyna Performance very closely on all my cars. They have helped me transform both of my Mustangs interiors on Blucifer and Hades with their flat bottom custom steering wheels and carbon fiber overlays. These carbon fiber overlays are made in house and they are a perfect fit for many different makes and models. So if you're somebody that loves to put time and effort into their car, please check out Dyna Performance with the link in the description and you can use promo code DBP Squad and save 10% off site wide. They make top quality products for so many different cars. Head to the link in the description, check out their website, see if they have products for your car. And again, that's promo code DBP Squad for 10% off. Huge shout out goes out to Dyna Performance for becoming a channel partner and let's get back to the video. Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a blessed day and I wanted to pick up the camera today and kind of do an update video from Monday's video that we posted. The cash offer I got on my 2020 Mustang GT, which was very unexpected and it's still kind of like, lingering it's not exactly a done deal and it's not like off the table it's about 50 50 right now so there is a good chance that this car will have a deposit on it by the end of the week which is kind of mind-boggling to me just because i wasn't you know looking to do this but when opportunities arise you have to jump on them you have to take risks yeah that's kind of why we're still making youtube videos seven years later and i want to touch up on that and i'm not you know being egotistic or um you know talking shit or anything like that but i did read a lot of the comments on mainly my instagram a lot of you guys on youtube actually understand where i was coming from which i thought it was going to be the opposite you know there's a few with you know some strong words and strong opinions but a lot of you understood like if there's an offer on a car it's it's a car like gotta take it move on upgrade but uh, this is for the instagram people i saw a lot of people you know saying that like um, I've changed, I'm chasing YouTube clout uh, just to you know, buy this car, sell it for that, and then get this car. Like, guys, that's how this works. Like, this is my business. I'm, I'm doing this full time. And um, yeah, that's, that's how it works, man. Every YouTuber you watch is doing this. Other guys are giving cars away. Literally bringing the car onto the channel, getting you guys attached to them, and then giving them away. It's no different. It's no different. I don't understand why everybody gets so butthurt about trying new things. I don't get it. And if you're not one of those people that try new things, that's your issue. That is a problem. You have to experience new things in life. On the same note, I know I came from a two-valve Mustang seven years ago, guys. I was a I was a child. I was 20 years old. Like, hell no. Damn, how long have I been doing this for? I've been doing this shit for a long time, all right? And I don't take any offense to this, but I'm just being, you know, real with you all. I started with the two valve. If you think for one moment that like, with that mindset with the two valve that I wanted to stay two valve Mustang for my whole life, you're nuts. And you shouldn't want to either. It's called leveling up. It's called reaching goals. It's called making goals and working hard and doing what you gotta do. I don't get why I have to like explain this to you. It's, it's the process of life. Everybody wants a better life. Everybody wants to do better things and, and get better things. If this car doesn't sell to this guy, I'm not selling it, like period, unless somebody else has another good offer. Only reason why I'm selling it, again, is because the offer is what I paid for the car and then a little bit more, like a, a tiny bit more. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much breaking even, but I got the content, I got the business stuff out of this and I wanna experience something different. Um, I need a manual back in my life. The 10R80 is a beautiful transmission. Um, it, it's great, it's an awesome, it's quick, but but I, I, I'm a manual guy at heart, man. I really am. And, uh, you know, with that being said, like, if I don't get rid of this car, I'm not going to be bummed to drive it. Like, I'm not going to throw an attitude and, like, hate the car. No, I still love it. It's just if I can, like, move on and kind of, like, break even and hop into something else and just have a little more fun driving. But we are heading to my boy Sebastian's house. Sebastian was one of the first ones in the local area to pick up a 2020 Mustang Mach 1. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys commented down below in Monday's video saying that like 
Derek, avoid the dark horse at all costs. You know how brand new Mustangs are when they first release. They have a lot of problems, a lot of bugs. Um, this one's just, you know, one of those exceptions that's extremely expensive, like very, very expensive for nothing more than, you know, a GT. Yeah, maybe some cosmetics and a little bit of horsepower and stuff, but you know, you guys get what I'm saying. The prices are atrocious when it comes you know to the dark horse so a lot of you were like stay clear of the dark horse at all costs just because it's not going to be worth the price for an na car that doesn't even make 500 wheel and it's just not going to be a good buy now it would be for the hype of the content but considering the aftermarket world is just going to be horrible because you know they're going to be untunable and that's an issue so i wanted to come over to sebastian's today just to take a closer look at his mock now he did get a 10r80 mock because sebastian does come from two other manual mt82 s550s so you know i i understand why he did it i know a lot of people get the mocks for the tremec transmission but i did figure we could just roll up talk a little bit about the mock and you know which decision and which route I would go if the sale on this car does go through because I do not plan on being you know Mustang list or or car list for very long because I do want to get into something pretty quick and I just want to make sure I don't jump the gun on my options if this does happen I do want to just take a little look at the Mach and kind of go over the pros and cons between Mach 1 S550 with the Tremec or the Dark Horse S550 with the Tremec. And even right now in the used market, the Mach 1 you could pick up significantly cheaper than a Dark Horse. So that's something you also have to consider. And you know, the horsepower, the, the Mach 1's gonna be quicker because you can tune the damn thing. What's going on? What's up, bro? Let me see that thing. Let me what? see that god awful and how look, you like it? It's nice. It is a that nice phone. They're baller. They're yeah, way better than the iPhones though. Yeah. I just look, can't look do at it. This. It's a finger sprint behind the screen. Oh, get the fuck. Get a Bugatti there. I haven't driven this bitch in like five months for real. You selling it? Do you want to buy it? No. <laughs> it's been mm. a while. It's been like, I haven't even turned it on. That's a nice ass Excuse cover. Me. What'd you pay for that? Um, this thing's nice as shit. I paid the sticker for this car. And it was like during, during the pandemic. Oh, that color is so sick. Jeez. Yeah, I haven't seen this out in a while, man. It's been a long time. So what do you think about the Dark Horse, bro? Does, um, it, does, it, does it interest you at all? Because I know you would like to hop on the new shits when they drop. Yeah, hell yeah, especially Dude, like Dude, it looks like sick, phones. bro. It's just like, an, it's, it's an addiction. Like, you want the Yeah, know, it's, it's called being bougie. Yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely like it. Um, but I don't know, it's very similar to this. Like, it's- Dude, that's what I was just it's telling hard, them. It's especially, hard, especially that you can't really tune it off Especially for but let's that. talk price, dude. Before dealer markups, people are like mid seventies for a fucking NA Mustang. Dark Horse mid seventies. Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah mid seventies. That's mid -70s, insane. I'd go with a Z06 modded. Yeah, well, that's another thing. Like, you know, I'm talking Mustangs. If I end yeah. up selling Hades, it's just like I haven't told them yet. But a GT350 is definitely on my list. There's just one problem with that, though. Content-wise, like I would be legit modding another. S550. Be the same thing. It would be the same shit. The Dark Horse, I mean, content wise, that shit would be sweet, but the price point ain't sweet. It's the mock, so this thing's gonna hold its value like crazy. Oh, sure. You know, so what are you leaning more towards like I haven't I haven't said anything yet. I got something in mind. I, I may have shared something with you. I think you get the idea, but I don't think many people will see it coming. I don't know. There's three, there's three cars, guys. Obviously, the dark horse is one. I just said the GT350. The third one you gotta guess, but I don't think many of you will guess. So I have three kind of floating if this goes through, of course. Take a look at the Gen 2 real quick. Deep impact blue, this thing's a beauty. I always forget his brother has this. You guys said you want to keep this and pass yeah. it on, right? Yeah. 
Well, let me hop in my fake Mach 1. Exposed. Uh. Sebastian's mock is definitely clean. Hang on, later. <laughs> I have the GoPro, man. Dude, I'm gonna fing wreck with this on my face. <laughs> he probably pulled me over, dude. I would straight up talk to him, too. I'd be like, yo, what's good? I'd look at him through the camera. It would have been really sick if Ford allowed you to get that color in the uh, the standard 5 O's because that color is crazy. It reminds me of kind of like the exclusiveness of the GT350 Avalanche Gray. But um, I don't know what the color is actually. I don't know the exact name. six huh those brembos are hard look at that look at the orange on those things that shit is sick <laughs> does that look ridiculous Sebastian's Mach 1 out of hiding. Thing's sick. What's the color on it again? Uh, fighter Jet Gray. Fighter Jet cool. Gray. Yeah, that shit is hard. It's the same color as the Cactus Gray for Cactus the Bronco and all Oh, of is it really? Yeah, it's the same. That's what they did with the Nitrous and Grabber Blue. They just added some flake to the Nitrous on the RSs and stuff. Well, yeah, she looks good. Would you just snag, like, you know, a used Mach? Or would you end up getting a Dark Horse? I mean, with this car, you know it's it's tunable that's like the that's like the big big thing right now i know a lot of people are kind of steering away from the dark horse for that reason i mean hell even the new gts they're not going to be uh tunable either you know for like 48 to 50 000 you can get a gt but like what's the point you know these cars would would absolutely smoke it with a simple tune so that's just kind of like i don't know it's kind of stupid in my opinion i'm sure at one point you know they'll have like a whole tuning thing figured out um, obviously you could go standalone ECU, but imagine spending 70 grand then another 10 grand on a freaking standalone ECU setup That's just stupid. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. Uh, so I want to hear your thoughts on this down below um, You know the three cars The GT350 a Mach because a Mach is like, you know, that's an evolution right there This thing will hold its value way more than this car So, you know if we do end up selling this and let's just say all the other car ideas fall through GT350, the Mach, and then there's a third one I haven't really spoke on. So drop a comment down below. Definitely take a guess at it. And uh, you know, we have more, more nice days coming. So we're gonna we're gonna get these back out after I snag these Recaros out of here. Too. So I already have, I got the headers in my storage unit and all this other shit. So oh yeah. I'm about to get this lower. Just oh wait until you do like tune E85 Drag long setup. tubes. Feels good. They're they're quick. They're nasty. Yeah, so. They're nasty. So the more and more I think about it and like the price tag and what, what you're actually getting and you know, it is a new platform, which is, that's the cool part about it. But eventually that will like wear off. And uh, you know, that car payment for a $70,000 NA Mustang won't, that's untunable and stuff. So it's, I do believe if like it were the same concept as you know, my 2020, for example, to where I can throw stuff on it, it's tuned, ready to rock, bam, simple, that there would be more um more people intrigued on to actually pursue the dark horse but obviously you'll have the older guys that want it just to just to have it in the garage and um you know just to take out on the weekends and stuff like that and you'll have some content creators snag them uh you know i i still might be one of those it depends on the word i get back from 
uh, Tyler's family's friend over at Ford, Bill Talley. So, I mean, if he can kind of pull some strings and I'm not getting completely swamped with, you know, freaking 20 grand dealer markups and stuff, like, you know, because they'd be out here doing that stuff. They'd be out here marking shit up like crazy. Um, if I can get one at a pretty decent price, I'll, I'm not keeping it forever. I could tell you that right now, but I would like to get it to experience and just say I had one and make some content on it. So there's that, but we're just going to keep on trucking and hope, you know, this deal goes through with the 10 speed. And if not, no big deal. Uh, I still love the car, but it would be pretty cool to have a pretty sick upgrade, um, added to the fleet with Karma and Blucifer. So who knows, but I did just want to tap in and make this video just to kind of, you know, talk about options and see a mock and think about okay selling the 10 speed s550 for essentially the same car but it's a mock one that would kind of suck just because i don't really want to go through the whole process again of doing these exact mods like long tubes tune this that and the other so that would be very stale in my opinion uh the gt350 it's dope car but I feel like it, it falls right underneath that category as well as like modifying the same car essentially. Cause it's like, yeah, I'll lower it. I'll put wheels and tires on it. I'll put euros in it. But I, no one wants to see that. I don't even want to do that. I mean, like doing that all over again makes me sick. So I don't want to go that route. Um, my third option, it has me the most excited. So we'll see, we'll see what happens and uh, I'll just keep you guys updated. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't checked out Monday's video, go check it out. Drop a like up on this video. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. We're right on our way to 200,000 subs and I can't thank you all enough for that. Uh, very exciting stuff. And um, you know, we'll see what the future holds, but there is one thing I am for certain of is that Blucifer is about to be back on the road. And that's going to be exciting in itself. So stay tuned for that. And uh, y'all have a blessed day and we'll catch you later.